What's up, everybody? This is our first YouTube video. Me and my wife went to Thailand. YouTube was overwhelming at first. I had some frustrating moments. I didn't know what was going on. This is a whole nother world in me. I never done none of this, pressed none of these buttons before. I wanted to throw it all out the window. I said, this is too much. Can I handle it? I was deleting stuff, reposting stuff. It was just, I was getting strikes. I don't know what was going on. But you know what? We got through it. We went to Thailand, y'all. My tip on this 25-hour flight is dress comfortable as possible and bring your own snacks. 25 hours is a long time, but it's not 25 hours straight because we got a layover in Turkey. I'll get to that later. So, boom. We got on a plane, Turkish Airlines, and the plane was not bad. Look, these some big headrests they give you. Ear muffs, eye covers, they give you a little blanket. It's not bad. We in the economy. We save some money. It's not bad. It's a You gotta suck it up. You know what I'm saying? And this is an unlimited movies right here. On the movies, music, we all still getting settled. But it, I love this plane. It was cool, comfortable. It was like I felt like we was getting five star treatment. They literally got games on these screens. Movies are unlimited. Look, they passing out, you know, champagne, wine, drinks. The food was not bad. Again, it's Turkey's food. What is it? Uh, it was like, what was this? Okay, like spinach, and potatoes, eggs. It was not bad. Fruits. I mean, this was not bad. Trust me, I had worse. The movies get going. As long as you get some rest, you, you good, man. But look, guess what? We landed. We landed in Turkey. In Turkey, they got this airport that's like, this place is the biggest. It's like 47 miles in one. They got a bunch of food there, all kinds of food. If you know these foods, and these top, I mean, we know that's pizza. We know that. But if you know what I'm looking at, I um, mean, let me know in the comments. I don't know what this is. What is that? Um, Rice Krispie treats. Um, was that Hot Pockets? Um, yeah, they got some Subway sandwiches. I mean, they got a lot of stuff. I love this airport. I ain't gonna lie, it was huge. See, they got like 29 sandwiches right there. It's a bunch of sandwiches. All kind of. What is this? Uh, tea and crumpets. But this airport was, and we was here for eight hours. And I think Turkish Airlines, I think, it provided us food vouchers and they gave us hotel vouchers. And that was all on them. I mean, eight hours is a long time. And in this airport, they actually had sleeping pods. Like, you can go in like a little private room, like a little, it looked like you in a smart car and it's all tinted and you sleep in there. You, you got an iPhone charging there and all that good stuff. So it's like, Eight hours ain't really that bad. Like when you think so about it, eight been, hours. But the thing is, we been had went to um, plan this trip, like maybe six or seven months ago. We planned this trip. We wanted to do a big one. Like her birthday in December, my birthday in February. We said let's go on a trip right in January. And that's gonna make it my first YouTube because people been telling me to go on YouTube for years, 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 years. But I. Used you know, you doing all kind of stuff. You living your life. I'm doing any and everything. Where we at? This Cartier? What's this Rolex? Who was that? Uh, that's Odell Beckham in there. I don't know who that is. Okay. And you know, another thing I noticed is airport, a lot of people with the hair implants. I'm not hating on it because I'm bald too. But that hair implant thing, everybody really fly out there. A guy was telling me like, yo, in America, it's like 15 grand. I hear it's three grand and uh, it's better quality. And I'm like, I don't know. You know, you know, you know, I, I, I don't know. But a lot of guys... That's one thing I noticed out there more than anything. I mean, through this airport, you will see. I saw maybe 100 guys with a hair transplant thing going on. So, And I know Turkey was known for that from being on YouTube, you know. So, y'all, guess what? I'm still excited. This is my first YouTube. I'm supposed to be all over the place. I'm wild. And I'm, we still walking through the mall right now. I mean, I'm not the mall, the airport. It's just so much. It's literally like a mall. I mean, they got every big designer you can imagine from Gucci, Louis Vuitton, I don't care what you looking for. They got it in here. Diamonds, I mean, look, see? I mean, a little bit of everything. I think I saw a movie theater in here. Man, this place, it's like a small city, really. It's like, kind of feel like I'm on a cruise a little bit in a way. And what we still, we still walk around the airport. Like I said, if y'all know what I'm looking at, let me know. I don't know what the hell is going on. I'm looking around, okay, what is this, coffee? Okay, they're selling sand over here. Okay, it looks good. Okay, mm, 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 so good. Okay, we keep walking. Okay, what is this? Okay, what is it? Okay, they got boudin. Okay, that's, uh, that's fine. That's dandy. We can taste that. Okay, they got rice cakes. They got towels. Okay, they got sugar cubes, they got spinach cubes, they got firecrackers, they selling gold. I'm telling you, this place is lit. This place is up. They got, look, they got egg rolls. I mean, they got everything at this airport. I mean, what is it? What is this? Hello. Okay, they got most, some, most sandwiches. I mean, the food, look, see, this is, it's, it's that expensive, I'm telling you. Look how much this stuff costs. These tags on this up three, four thousand dollars Yeah, Vinci, they had uh, tons of designer. I didn't get enough of it. Because I'm going to talk about my flight more. Okay, boom. This is the second trip. Like, this is, you know, from the layover in the airport. Now I'm on the second plane. It's like an older plane, but it's five hours. Let's do it. Oh, well. So what? 
oh man, this when I saw some robotics going on. What was going on? This one I said, we not in Kansas anymore. What the hell is that driving around with nobody in? It looked like something from Star Wars. And I suggest this to everybody. Please exchange your American dollars as soon as you get off the plane. You do not want to do it when you get in a city. Like, I don't trust nobody sitting on a milk cart saying, give me your money. That's not happening. So do it as soon as you got a plane. You see them, run to them, switch it out. Well, now we've just arrived to the hotel. Okay, to the resort. The resort is, um, I think, 45 minutes away. So, and then you know what I noticed else about the, um, the streets of Phuket? Everybody's on motorcycles, like everybody. I felt like I was in a whole nother world. But um, yeah, he's a cool taxi driver. You know, they all cool. This is what we stayed at. A Vista Hideaway Phuket in Phuket. And this is a nice five-star resort. Literally five-star resort. We get treated like royalty. Look, I mean, they all I mean, they were so nice, man. They was kind, considerate, asking you every five minutes, do you need anything? Do you need anything? Do you need anything? I love y'all. Is this alcohol right here? Oh, no, 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 it's not alcohol. What is it? I uh, like, um, pineapple like juice. Oh, Did she just yeah, say yeah, pineapple yeah. grease? This girl told me we drinking pineapple grease. This is the phones I'm talking about. These phones, wherever you're at in the resort, they come pick you up, take you anywhere you want to go. I done seen what I wanted to see. I wanted to see the room now. Oh, suck it, suck it now. See, all I gotta do right now is find that little phone, call the buggy. He gonna take you where you gotta go. We gonna run. He's gonna take you to the lot of look. Let's see, what's up, Jackie Chick? See, they, all, they outside. We outside. We on vacation, though. It's time to relax. Man, it's time. This is the moment y'all been waiting for. Our actual room we stayed in. This man, man. Definitely 
five star. It felt like five star. We cannot wait to go back to Thailand, man. Next time it's gonna be Bangkok. Man, are you make a suggestion, y'all? Y'all make a suggestion. Leave some comments. Let me know where we should go next. We want to go international. We want to stay overseas. We want to do all kind of stuff. But yo, we had to get some rest. Wake up. It's time to go hit the nightlife. Time to go hit Bangalore. You know, and this is the app you need to download. It's like Uber, but in Thailand. This app will be essential to your stay in Thailand. I'm telling you, please take my advice. But we made it to Bangalore. And man, 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 when I say it's up out here, it's literally nothing but clubs and bars. Clubs, bars, and restaurants, all, all kind of stuff like this. It's just crazy, man. It's crazy. I enjoyed every mini of it. I'm not going to lie. I enjoyed it to the fullest. And, man, you're going to see a lot of this. Y'all going to see a lot of this, man. Older guys with them younger girls out here, man, that's just the thing to do. I mean, boys retired. Boys got their feet kicked up. Boys divorced out here, I guess. But, man, look at old school. He going to give a look. He got him one. Oh, hell. Ooh. She knows she caught a play. She going to get this man whole 401k pension and everything the same night. She going to get everything. They did have a lot of crazy, freaked out looking stuff I've never seen in my life. I'm not going to lie. Crazy, weird, awkward. It's all different, though. But don't forget, you're in a whole nother. Uh-oh. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. I don't know. Could possibly kicks with. Hmm. I'm going to keep that to myself. But, um, what is it? We still walk around. We chilling. And we get really up all that. I don't even know what time it is. It's like. And it's the party, like, don't stop out there. It's like, nah, stop. It's like hours and hours and hours of, of just party, everything open, everything available. Everybody just, you know, it's, you could tell everybody on vacation. Well, a lot of people on vacation. And they, and Thailand, I really support Thailand because, I mean, tourists really, you know, feed the city, keep the city going without tourism. I mean, I, can t I don't tell them what they're going to do during COVID, but. Yeah, we was hitting every side shit, every back here, every main street. I'm looking for everything, and I don't know what I'm looking for. I'm just outside. Stop recording. That was so captivating moment. I know, right? Dan, Dan, look at this dude I passed by. He think he in Vegas or something. At least it look, at least look like him a little bit. Oh, I, look, this dude think he joker. Look at this dude. Man, why you standing still? Man, go do something. Go cook something. Look at this man. Look at this man. I'm going to turn around and look at him. Look. Look, look, look. Joker was not a uh, 411. That ain't going to work, buddy. Go get a dollar doing something else. This, these back streets got a lot of clubs, man. A lot of strip clubs. If you like strip clubs, hey, place to be is down here because it's literally free to get in all of them. It's free man, to get in. Man, I'm not going to lie. Uh-oh. I got a part of the video. Please. Be quiet. The hell out of you! You gotta pay attention. Look real hard. Listen to him. Keep walking. Stay focused. You don't wanna run into a chopstick down there, if you know what I mean. You might bump into a nunchuck if you're not paying attention. So pay attention! Don't look at them boobs. Don't look you. Watch out. Watch yourself. Watch your bone back. So, if you run into a pretty young lady, and she got a Stanley tumbler between her legs, that mean you wasn't paying attention. Yeah, this kind of wraps up my night. I gotta call me a taxi, get out of town. Uh. Yeah. But it definitely give me Vegas vibes because the city just don't stop. It's just nonstop entertainment. It's always something to do, like tons of things to do. Look, I see kids out here. Look, they past their bedtime. Look, look at the street. Pharmacy, dispensary, pharmacy, dispensary. Oh, yeah, I ran to That's this like, dude, right? I forgot to tell y'all about this. So he said, please follow me. I'll show you. I'll show you real nice stuff. I'll show you nice stuff in Thailand. I'll show you good stuff. I'll show you ballers. I'm like, you want to show me something? Let me, I want to see what you're talking about. You have to follow me to the back, to the flea market. In Bangalore, it's a big flea market out there, too. It's a lot of food, and it's nice flea market. It's if you like knock off designer. I don't like knock off nothing. I'd rather do authentic things. So, you know, we kind of passed on that. But everything else, I mean, whatever you want, it's really out here. I mean, no matter what you desire, it's here. 
it's it's so jam packed. Like I said, it's so eventful to be out here in Phuket, Thailand. I loved every minute of it. But yo, don't forget, I'm following my boy. He said he wanna show me something exclusive. I gotta see it. I wanna see what he's talking about so bad. Gotta see it. I, I wanna see what he's talking about. He he really was begging me to come follow him. I'm telling you. I'm like, cool. Yo, where am I? Am I in Icebox? Is this Johnny Dang house? Or what's going on? Jacob the Jeweler? What is going on? Is it Patty Philippe? Is that Richard Mill? Is that Rolex? I mean, I, I can't afford this. What's going on? I, is it, what is this, AP, another one? I, mean, I see. That's you, Blow? What's going on? I, no, no, no. I said, man, I, ain't, I gotta get one, dog. <laughs> You know I had to get what I had to throw one on. You know, it's just that's how I do it. You know, I felt like a baller, like DJ Kelly, like Rick Ross. I felt like little baby. I LeBron James, LeBron James, LeBron James, LeBron James, LeBron James. LeBron James, LeBron James. Now we trying to wrap up the night. It's getting late. I'm exhausted. We're tired. I don't know if we got jet lag. I don't know what's going on, but yo, this is not a part of Bangla Road. Street food. This this stretch about a mile long. Man, there's tons of fresh food to choose from. They cook it right there in front of you. I mean, it's crazy. Let's just walk around and check it out. Okay, wifey finally decided what she wanted to eat. You know, she took three days, but she settled on like this huge jumbo shrimp stuff they had going on, which was all oh, man, it was crazy. And don't forget, I'm balling because every dollar for us is like $35 of them. So. <laughs> so, sir, can my wife get outside and piss right here in front of the bus? She got a pee pee. Pee pee? Oh, uh, yeah, she says she got a pee pee. So, can you stop we get back to the resort? I'm not even in the mood for nothing. I don't even know what the hell they're doing. I'm seeing stars. I don't know what's going on, but it's it's entertainment. It's a nice resort. I, I can't lie. But I was looking at, in my mind, I was seeing something totally different. Like, when they was performing, I was like, what? Now we back at the room. It's time to unwind. Let's get this pool slash jacuzzi thing going. Let's get some drinks flowing. Let's turn some music on. We on vacation. Let's enjoy the resort, too. We're going to enjoy the city. And we go enjoy the resort, you know. So, ooh, man, it's time to relax, dog. But you know me, I her, I saw a menu. They said room service. I said, oh man, I got to call room service. I gotta order whatever. I'm ordering any and everything. Yes. Food finally got there, and yo, it look way better than what I expected. I mean, way better and tastes even better than it looked. I mean. This resort is the one to me. I see why it's five star. And this the next day we ran into a cool taxi driver. Said it's gonna take us some elephants. So we went. You gotta pay for bananas and all this to feed the elephant. So now we done got on top of the Escalade. But at this point I'm guessing like I guess we about to go on some type of safari or something through the rainforest. I don't know. I hope no monkeys attack me and rob me. I don't know what's going on, but I mean, I'm going with the flow. You know, I'm on vacation. It's no limitation.
lighting and everything else. You guys have to really trust the elephants. You train them? Yeah. Um, Y'all, we can't. I can't get a good angle of the elephant. <laughs> USA. Thanks. Right, elephant, y'all. I just don't want to have no training flashbacks and rip my damn arm off. That's what I don't want to happen. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give it a shot. One for time. Akuna Matata. This nigga don't stop eating, don't he? Damn, nigga. Oh. He's happy now. I'm good, though. Oh, baby, feed him another bag. He want more banana, baby. You want more? He said, feed me more. Yeah. But overall, it was a dope experience. I've never done nothing like this before, and this was definitely, it was cool, man. I can't complain. It was nice. It was like multiple couples on this trip, you know, like four or five elegants. So it was cool. Like I said, it was really cool. Experience. I love it. I mean, I do it. Do the heat. Do the heat. Do the heat. And at this point, the trainer not even on the elephant. Everybody got their trainer except us. I guess he on the side. I don't know what he doing. He fixing a flat. I don't know what the hell he doing. Get your ass back up here and scare this thing. Um, I mean, my hair was so icy. And of course, we used our favorite app again. But the, the driver said he got another spot he wanted to take us to. So I'm like, oh, let's ride through the city. Let's go to the next spot. He says, it's a surprise. I love surprises. Hey, let's do it. Oh, well. Let's ride. Let's go. Hell, we done pulled up to Jumanji, Tiger Kingdom, in Phuket, Thailand. Follow the rules, no flashing cameras, no loud noises, don't hit them on the head. Now, you know, follow the rules. But we here. It was definitely different. Uh, I can't, I can't complain. It was definitely different. Oh my God! Look how scared this woman looked. Yeah, <laughs> watch this, y'all. Watch this. Watch this. Her name Sophia. All right, I'm done. Let me take one again. All right, I'm done. <laughs> oh, scary ass. Action! Yeah, touch, bro, touch, 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 touch. Definitely another new experience. Okay, I got a pop quiz for y'all. What the hell is this? Is this a Ford F-250? Is this a Ford Bronco or is this a Ford Trimmer? I've never seen a truck like this. Is it remote control? What is this in the And I like this when they advertise the fights on the streets, telling you to come out, pass our tickets. I mean, that's dope. That's dope to go to. See, y'all, this right here is gasoline diesel lighter fluid. And I'll get back to this bottle in a minute. I'm going to break this bottle down in a minute. But we back to more shopping, more walking around, more checking out. 
bigger and better flea markets. I mean, it's flea markets like on every corner, and it's like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of vendors like everywhere. A bunch of fake designer. You know, I hate designer. I mean, I hate fake designer, but you know what I do love? That's fake. I love me a fake watch. Ooh, look at that for let, let me get another Rolex. Oh, yeah. I feel it. I feel it. That's a wrap. We tired. We done. We exhausted. It's so hot, but you know what? It's all worth it. on vacation. But we about to go back to the hotel. Relax. Go to sleep. Do it again tomorrow. This is one of my favorite parts of Kit. I'm telling you, if you're a foodie, you're gonna be obsessed with this place. It's so many vendors, hundreds of vendors, hundreds of, so many places to shop at. So many different kind of foods to try out. Oh man, you guys are gonna love Old Town Phuket. Please put that in your calendar, on your to-do list if you decide to come to Phuket. Old Town Phuket, I'm telling you, it's nice.
y'all it's Chi Chi here I know it's the first you're hearing me on the video but I'm here right now we're in old Phuket town and I am headed to get some pad thai I must say that this is the best pad thai I've ever had in my life can't find it in Houston or anywhere trust me you can't only a dollar fifty now we're heading to Karome Beach for some sun fun so we on the beach just getting some sun looking around enjoying you know, the people, the drinks, the waves, you know, we just trying to catch a vibe and then look, I just turn around and I say, okay, what is that down there flying in the air? Is that parasailing? Let's go down there. So we got down here right to this end of the beach and I'm like, man, I don't know, it looks scary, it looks creepy. And all of a sudden, this hit me. This stuff told me, 
Boy, you better do it. Stop playing. You better get on it. Drink it. Do whatever. And it hit me so hard, and I said, you know what? I'm going to do anything. So after I drank this lighter fluid, but I felt unstoppable. Boy, I, when I drank this diesel gas, I said, I can do anything. So before we went parasailing, he didn't give us no instructions, no manual, no training course. He just said, put this vest on. I'm looking down. I see the rope getting smaller. I see a boat speeding off in front of me. I don't even got it zipped up all the way. I'm like, let me let me get my shit to, I'm trying to. <laughs> So after I was drugged for about 40 feet, I was in the sky. Man, I can't even see you, man. Where my baby at? Oh, shit. Look, my nigga, that nigga got that dick on that head. Oh, shit. That dick. That dick on that head. Woo! Yeah, I feel it. We got what? So that's going to conclude our trip. We had an amazing time in Thailand. Phenomenal. You can now call me Tai Chi. Hey. Okay. And okay. Tai 2D. But hey. yeah, just let us know um, where you've been, where you think we should go, mm -hmm. what countries, what have you done in those countries, even if you haven't been there. Let us know what you think we should do so we can experience it for you. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye. Peace.